Kepler here along with Alan Smith and our match today comes from the Premier League. Coming up now, Crystal Palace and they play Bournemouth. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace line up today. Number 13, Wayne Hennessy. Number 2, Joel Wall. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Wayne Hennessy plays in goal. Mamadou Sacco plays with Scott Dan as the centre backs. Ruben Loftus Cheek plays with Andros Townsend as the wide options. Wilfried Zaha starts up top with Christian Benteke. Number seven, Johan Kevan. Number ten, Andros Townsend. Number eleven, Wilfred Zaha. And number seventeen. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. One main striker, one probably just off it. How are they going to find attacking routes with this formation? Well, whether they can create through the middle, we'll wait and see. I just think today those two wide lads in midfield are going to be important. They've both got a bit of pace, capable of getting round the outside. Crystal Palace, who play still at Selhurst Park, is one of the older grounds in the Premier League. Great noise they have there because they allow a section of the fans to stand. Yeah, and they're tightly packed in there, and they don't stop singing for the entire match. And it's quite unusual these days. It's harking back to the old days almost. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. Stuart Atwell is the referee today. So here we go, we're underway here. And it's played to Jermaine Defoe. He might be through. Kabai. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width in slipping it through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Here's the chance. Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything but. He should have been picking it out of the net, the keeper. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Well, the cross doesn't get past the first man. Junior Stanislas. The back heel doesn't come off. Threads it through. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Loftus cheek. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. And King. And he gives it back to him. Now this looks promising. And he could get away here. And it's a shot now. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. And now the shot. That will be a corner. Corner's taken. Well, he clears the danger. Backing his own talent here to keep the ball. And he has got some support if he wants to just lay it off. Johan Kabai. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Benteke! Benteke! And he's opened the scoring here.
He's tucked it away, well out of the goalkeeper's reach. I love to see that. Don't have to whack it from that kind of position. Just side-footed home. Another angle on it here. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Crystal Palace. Number 17, Christian. Goes out wide again. Here's Defoe. Wonderful chance. Great goalkeeper, great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a pair there, but he's so agile, this keeper. That'll be a corner. In goes the corner. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Cleared it well. And it will be their throw. Sermon. Cook. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Ah, that's one he'd like to see again, a back heel, brilliant. That's good movement forward here. And in it goes towards the far post. Here's, and in with the goal! Well, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do, for sure, I know Alan does. What a good example this was. He's always on the move in the box, this lad. We know he's a fine header of the ball, he showed it there. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have got to be there. And uh, this lad has got the knack of doing that. So, away we go at one all. Goal for Bournemouth, number 17, Josh King. Little piece of interplay between the two. Johan Kabay. On the attack here, Loftus-Cheek. Well, that's a clever pass. Benteke! Well, it looked a bad miss, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because... Uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. Well, they're in a good position here. Oh, he's through. The foe! And it's into the back of the net. And they're in front now. Oh, great celebrations, and why not? Double whammy here for the opposition. They've hit them with both barrels. Well, they're absolutely flying, aren't they? The opposition don't know what to do to stop the flow here. Off we go again, 2-1. Goal for Bournemouth, number 18, Jermaine Defoe. Townsend. They've got numbers in this the attack, and it looks dangerous. There will be a minimum of three minutes of having Andros time. Townsend. Benteke. He's got his shot off now, and he knocks in the goal. Oh, that was schoolboy stuff. Having just scored, they concede at the other end. Lack of concentration.
Well, it is really game on in this match with this equaliser. Different angle on it here. Brilliant entertainment, the scores are level again, very tight affair here. 2-2, Two -two. and the half-time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, really good, late equalising goal, and that might just change the manager's team talk now. The second period, the second half is underway. He's coming forward with some danger. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Kabai. And they've cut it out. Josh King. Looking good, this move. The shot's on! He's made the save. Well, it's out for a corner. <laughs> Swung in from the corner. Not able to take full advantage of a good position. It's a good cross. It's not really a way for clearance. Well, that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas, and he's got there. That's easy for Begovic. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Well, that's good defending. Come on. Josh King. Into the attacking third. Loftus cheek. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Sermon. This could be it. Got to be. Out in front of goal. Well, here's a chance to get their noses in front from the corner. We are going to see a substitution now. In goes the corner. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Zaha. And there's the cutback. Oh, it's the post! Be a throw. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Well, there are other options from the bench. James MacArthur whipped in from the wide area. Very good distance to the clearance. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Good vision. in here it must be he's had a go here well they have taken the lead came close to goalkeeper actually did get a touch on it but I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much 
well beaten, really. Yeah, I don't think you can blame the keeper, Martin. He's looking at his defenders. Why was the lad given so much space? He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that. But these players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. He's been taken off now, the goal scoring forward. Yeah, a good 8 out of 10 for him. You know, he's linked the play well, he's been energetic, so uh, they're just saving him, I think, for the coming weeks. Well, plenty of goals here today, 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Well, they're in a good position here. Benteke. Here's a chance! Oh, what a miss! Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was, and I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Phew. Slipping it through. He's through here. Well, he got through and really could have extended the lead here, maybe should have done, but the goalkeeper has kept this contest close. Yeah, great save, Martin. Listen, they'll probably go on and still win this match, but that would have really sealed it. Corner's taken. Cleared away, well away from goal. Well, if you look at the coaching manual, you don't defend like that. He's got caught too square. To his man there, Paul. A chance to break away now on the counter. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce a bit better than we've seen so far. Quick witted and quick in this movement, too, to intercept there. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum. Shots off! Oh, charge down. Well, the fans love this. The goalkeeper coming up to the opposing penalty area for the corner. We are going to see a substitution now. Well, they've got a corner. Well, here comes the corner. Defender did fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. It's a fine performance. They worked really well when they had the ball, which wasn't that often, but also they were very good when the opposition had the ball. Yeah, it just goes to show those possession stats can be deceiving. It's what you do with the ball, and they used it really well. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but... A couple of goals here, have won the match for his team.